in this video we are going to discuss about bridge rectifier so we know generally the rectifier is used to convert the ac signal into a pulsating dc here the in bridge rectifier we are going to use a transformer followed by uh, four diodes okay Uh, during the passive of cycle, passive of cycle, so this is your uh, input signal. Okay, this is the maximum value is uh, Vm. Okay, so uh, during the passive of cycle, uh, the current will flow in this direction. Okay, because this is positive, so it will go in this direction. Okay, it will go in this direction then it will reach the this it will follow this path okay so during the um, a negative off cycle okay so during the negative off cycle so this will follow this direction okay it will flow the current will flow in this direction okay so i can write uh, so here i have given the voltage in terms of voltage I'm um, here I can take it as a uh, current okay so the current also will flow in this uh, like this only okay so instead of I can write as V also okay so here I am representing as I okay so I is equal to I am I am sine alpha so this alpha will range is from okay this alpha will range from uh, 0 to pi up to 0 to pi it is uh, im sin alpha okay and uh, this is your output waveform okay uh, then i can take it this one as i naught okay so uh, this is a uh, for pi to 2 pi it is minus of uh, uh, im sin alpha okay so you are going to substitute this one in um, idc Okay, so IDC is equal to uh, DC current that is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi uh, 0 to 2 pi I naught D alpha. Okay, 1 divided by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi I naught D alpha. Okay, so you have to substitute uh, the I naught value here. Okay, so if I substitute, I will get this equation. Okay, so followed by uh, this one. So if you integrate the sine alpha, you will get uh, you will get uh, minus cos alpha, and uh, so if you take minus outside and uh, uh, if you integrate, you will get uh, minus cos alpha. Uh, the limits is pi to two pi. So if you substitute, uh, so cos zero is uh, equal to one, and uh, cos pi is equal to minus one. Okay. So if we substitute you will get uh, 2 i m by pi okay similarly so if we substitute uh, what is uh, rms value rms is nothing but a effective uh, effective value okay uh, so uh, this is nothing but your i rms is equal to root of root mean square value okay root mean square value 1 divided by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi i naught square d alpha okay so root of square means square value okay so if we substitute this uh, the same way if you substitute here you will get i r m s is equal to i m divided by root 2 this we have already discussed in the full wave rectifier also okay so next one is a uh, form factor okay form factor so form factor is equal to formula is irms divided by idc so if you substitute im divided by root 2 by im 2 im by pi so this two get cancelled out and you will get um, pi divided by 2 root 2 okay and uh, you know the formula for ripple factor okay so the ripple factor is equal to this is your ripple factor so ripple is nothing but a error value okay so this should be minimum okay so the formula is the root of irms square minus idc 
whole square divided by IDC. So we know that uh, if you uh, if the IDC will goes inside, you will get IRMS square divided by IDC square minus IDC square divided by IDC square. Okay. So you will get uh, F. What is F? F is nothing but IRMS divided by IDC. Okay. So if you solve, you will get uh, what you will get. Uh, root of pi square divided by 4 into 2 right minus 1 so next uh, so what is the value so you solve and check it out okay uh, next uh, efficiency okay so efficiency this is nothing but efficiency efficiency used to calculate in terms of percentage okay so you have to multiply this one by 100 okay so we know that uh, idc is equal to uh, p is equal to um, p is equal to v into i so you will get id square rl divided by uh, p in okay so generally we have to consider uh, this r of us the diode resistance okay for diode forward resistance so usually for ideal case you have to consider the ideal uh, um, resistance value is equal to zero okay so if you substitute this one you will get uh, this two get cancelled out right this two get cancelled out and uh, if you take uh, uh, r of s equal to zero this two also get cancelled out okay if this is zero means so what you will get you will get uh, 8 divided by 8 divided by pi square into 100 okay so next uh, so this is around 81 percentage right okay so next uh, peak inverse so uh, voltage peak inverse voltage is nothing but peak inverse voltage so if you see the during the positive off cycle okay during the positive off cycle um, this is uh, this get short right so this will check get short and you will get vm at the uh, output of the resistance and this uh, diode is also short circuit and this two diode is open circuit okay so if i see the um, voltage across this uh, uh, across this diode okay so you will get uh, uh, vm is equal to minus vd2 so i can write uh, vd2 is equal to minus vm so this is nothing but your peak inverse voltage peak inverse voltage is equal to vm Okay. next one is uh, transformer utility factor that is equal to dc power delivered to the door divided by ac power rating of the transformer secondary okay so we know that the dc power pdc is equal to idc square idc square div into rl divided by ac power rating is vrms into irms so we know the all the all this value right so if you substitute you will get 8 divided by pi square that is nothing but 0 0.812 around 81.2 percentage okay so uh, so compared to the half wire rectifier the bridge, bridge rectifier efficiency is doubled and uh, uh, transformer utility factor is very high and uh, uh, ripple factor is uh, ripple voltage is very low and uh, you can see the applications of uh, rectifiers uh, it is used in the am radio voltage multiplier pulse generating circuit modulation mosquito repellent uh, charger circuits lcd led tv soldering irons etc okay so that's all about the video thank you